For many Canadians, hunting is a way of life. The annual harvest of game meat means food on the table and a happy family. It's also a great pastime. Watching and learning the habits of game can be life-changing. For those of us that do take part, we are truly privileged. But what of those unable to get out in the field because of health or mobility issues? Thousands of Canadians find themselves sitting on the sidelines unable to participate in the great tradition of hunting. Hunting is a very physical activity and those with disabilities shy away from it due to the fact that there's not many ways for them to actively participate. Or are there? <laughs> Hey, there's a fish. <laughs> Nicely done, Mike. This country was built on fishing, hunting, and trapping. I don't forget where I came from, and I still remember the days where I had to book what little vacation time I had to go on deer hunts and fishing trips with my friends. And it reminds me of how important this is to me. Fortunately, I've been able to make a living in the outdoors and have gained invaluable knowledge. And I'm gonna share my successes and failures with you. Oh, watch out. Whether you're urban or rural, fish or hunt, you should support sound wildlife management. I am proud to say that I am an angler and hunter. The Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters presents Angler and Hunter Television. Brought to you by Canadian Tire, a proud partner of Angler and Hunter Television. Mercury Marine, number one on the water. Winchester Ammunition, an American legend. Browning Firearms, the best there is. Shimano, technology you can feel. Yamaha ATVs, what kind of Yamaha are you? And Lund Boats, the ultimate fishing experience. Here's his bigger. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Here comes fish. Recently, we invited other outboard owners to look deeper into Mercury Verado. The mid range throttle response is amazing. Got a lot of power for low RPM. Whoa. I can't get over the, the, the power that it has, how quickly it accelerates. The torque is unbelievable. Verado is up to 13% quicker than other four strokes. Visit MercuryMarine.com to see more ways Verado beats the competition. Mercury Marine, look deeper. Feel that bad boy? Ooh. It's not about the shot itself. It's about all that came before it. A company that's given back to conservation so that the tradition of hunting will continue. A leader in innovation since its founding. It's the legendary excellence you've come to expect. You've got that history in your hands. Now it's about settling the crosshairs, focusing on that moment in time, and one legendary trigger pull that changes you. Winchester, the American legend. Voltaics presents Fight I think I speak for fight fans everywhere when I say we saw one of the most insane fights in all of mixed martial arts history here tonight. You said it, Greg. The defending lightweight world champion Frankie the Butcher Nelson taking on the Voltaeus fishing rod by Shimano, one of the craziest fights I've ever seen. Is that jujitsu? <laughs> Muay Thai? I don't know what to call it. I call it crazy. We'll definitely be seeing more of the Voltaeus in future fights to come. Voltaeus, the next level of tough. A priceless experience on the water. That's the Mun Tai. Fishermen and families everywhere are raving about the all new Lun Tai. Celebrating 60 years. Since 1948, Lun, the ultimate fishing experience. Closed captioning of Angler and Hunter Television is provided by Ontario Out of Doors Magazine. Recently, I ran into Doug Poirier, who was promoting a fundraising ice fishing derby for multiple sclerosis. The fishing tournament, I, uh, I decided I want to try and fight back, you know, do something to, uh, 
to raise awareness, but also to uh, make a bit of a statement as to uh, what MS is and uh, show people that you can still live with it. But uh, so I started the fishing tournament, and uh, last year was our uh, our first event, and it was an excellent success. So we're continuing on with it, and I really hope to uh, see it grow. Not long after meeting Doug, I received an invitation from an organization called Pheasants Forever to take part in a special hunt that catered to handicapped hunters. I called Doug and asked if he'd like to go for a pheasant hunt with me, and well, he was all in. Pheasants Forever have teamed up with a company who designed a specialty wheelchair that would allow hunters the ability to trek through mud, grass, dirt, and uneven terrain, all with the gentle push of a lever. So Doug, I don't know, we've already gone maybe, I don't know, 100 meters down this little path. Yeah. So normally, uh, with the, the situation you have, that it would have been too yeah, much for you? Oh yeah, I wouldn't have been able to do that right there. I mean, I would have been using walking aids for sure, and I mean, wouldn't be able to carry my gun at the same time for sure, so. If you read in the hunting regulations in Ontario, there's a section with special provisions for those that have mobility issues, and it reads as follows. It is illegal to have a loaded firearm in or on, or discharge a firearm from any aircraft, or snowmobile, or all-terrain vehicle, or even a motorboat, or anything towed by a boat. An exception to this rule is that a person may obtain an authorization through the local ministry office if the person's mobility is impaired and the person meets one of the following criteria. The person's a paraplegic or hemiplegic. They have a single amputation above the knee or a double lower below the waist amputation, or they suffer severe disability and cannot hunt without the use of a wheelchair or similar means of locomotion. In this case, the hunter must provide a medical certificate stating disability. The authorization is valid for a period of up to five years. You guys all ready to go? We're ready. Yeah, all let's right. see if we can find some birds. All right, here we go. Jess, this way. Good girl. Find a bird. Come on. Pheasants are a spectacular bird, and hunting them is almost an art. Canadian winters are hard on the pheasant population, and finding enough birds to hunt can be trying. However, there are plenty of facilities that cater to pheasants and those who hunt for them. Scattered across the country, you'll find operators like the one we're at today, Roughwood Game Farm, near Cayuga, Ontario. Mike and Donna Wilshire run a fantastic facility and are breeders of champion Brittany Spaniels. Flushing or pointing dogs are a must if you plan on doing some pheasant hunting. So Jess has been working out here pretty good. I've seen her you know, running around and you're blowing the whistle. Um, I think a, a lot of people are under the impression that Spaniels are flushing dogs. Yeah, the, we hear that quite a lot. The Brittany Spaniel is a pointing dog. Right. And uh, they're originally from France, and we've adapted them here pretty well. They're, um, some of them are pretty wide ranging. They, uh, they're easy to work with. They're very soft, like, a, like setters. They're, they're very personable dogs, right. like you can I, see right there. Yeah, okay. And uh, they just love to be with people. Just let her establish here. Okay. You're pretty good. Well, range there, eh? Oh, I would think we're good enough here. So okay, we'll get, give your, give her a we'll kick get one the on each side here. She's on point right there, buddy. Yeah. How's that? You got a good position there? I would say so. You're happy there? Yeah, that would be good. Here. Okay, if Mike, if you want to come around this side. Okay. Oh. Where is she, Jess? Where is she, Jess? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't mess around, buddy. Here. Look at this. That Just was awesome. Just add your feet. Look at that. Here. Oh, fetch it here. that was awesome. Good girl, fetch here. <laughs> Jess, here. Good girl. That was, a, that was fetch a... Fetch it. Jess, here. Good girl. That was awesome. You know, with... Uh, fetch it here. If that bird Good had girl. gone up and over, over Doug, I wouldn't have had a shot at it, so... Uh, Jess, fetch it. Good girl. Good girl. Here. Good girl. That's my hey, girl. Hey, that's, my that's girl. nice. That's Let's bring my that girl. over and show Good you. girl. Good girl, you got some feathers. You got <laughs> some feathers. Good girl. Hey. Oh man, that was great. That was awesome. Holy Look geez. at you, sharpshooter. I, just, I thought, oh, she's. That bird's gonna go over top of you, and uh, I thought I was gonna. I, I wasn't had gonna one be able chance to back there. You up, buddy. I was like, uh oh. So, <laughs> awesome. Look at nice that. Nice shot. Eh? Yeah. Thank you. Beauty. Congratulations. Thank you very, much. very good. Bye. Gulf Alive presents The Fishing Edge. Got him! Oh yeah! 
In order to get the edge over fish, you need to make sure you're using tackle design for the specific species you're after. Berkeley soft baits are designed for the sole purpose of helping you catch more fish. They offer you a wide variety of highly effective choices, from pro-designed bass baits all the way to scientifically engineered baits with scent and flavor technology that encourages fish to strike and hold on longer. The Berkeley power bait scent and flavor impregnated into baits is tasted by fish upon biting the bait, and the more the fish bites a bait, the more scents dispersed into the water. Power bait products are available for nearly every fish species and fishing technique. Check out the Power Bait Minnow. It's designed in a proven and popular shape, and it's great for jig trailers, spinner rigs, drop shots, and other bottom bouncing rigs. The split tail design provides subtle, finesse presentations, ideal for crappie, panfish, bass, walleye, and trout. To see more ways to get the edge, check out berkeley-fishing.com. The hunt continues after the break. I guess my first Yamaha was uh, 1986, and uh, after that it was Yamahas, Yamahas to no end. When I look at uh, timber property that I'm going to buy or, or, or be harvesting, you need a good reliable machine to get you through the swamps. Pretty rough going some places. Different people have asked me about, you know, why I buy Yamaha. I keep buying them because of the reliability and the product that they make is just uh, what we want. I'm Barry Elmhurst, owner and operator of BW Forest Products, and this is my Yamaha. Folks, I'm Dan Wallace, and I make my living in the backwoods. And people ask me, why do you use a recurve limb crossbow? Better question is, why would you use compound? Look, I'm tough on equipment, and I need a crossbow as tough and reliable as my four-wheel drive. If I happen to drop it out of a tree, or accidentally drive fire, or run over it with your pickup truck, try that with a compound crossbow, and you'll be the proud owner of a hundred little parts. So do yourself a favor and pick up an Excalibur, and find out why they're the four-wheel drive of crossbows. They're up there, you know. I've been to the ship. I've seen things. I've smelled things. Look, I'm trying to forage here. They fool you with the smell. They got me, but I escaped. Yeah, from the loony bin. The scent was like a blood trail, but it's deception. Get away from me. Beware, my friend. Trust no one. Trust no one. Yeah, it looks like in the air. Yeah. Look at oh. that. Right there. And that, oh, that day just gets right on it. <laughs> Doug was right at home in the action track chair and was no slouch firing the Browning BPS from a sitting position. Watching him work the field in that chair was like watching a kid open gifts on Christmas Day. Here's a guy who would never have been able to walk these fields and work over these fantastic dogs. He was smiling from ear to ear and enjoying his first ever pheasant hunt as if he had no cares in the world. Okay, Doug, you get up over on the left here. All right. She's locked Just on right there, Just past the brush buddy. pile. Pheasants are adept at eluding prey by running, flushing, and of course, burying into cover lying low, which means they're usually tucked into some pretty dense brush and terrain that will give hunters on foot a good session of cardio. Whoa! Oh. Good girl! Nice shot. Sorry about that, Doug. I had to take that one there. Uh, I gotta let you have one or two at least. Yes, here. Fetch it here. Woo! Good girl. Fetch here. Good girl. Come on. Here, 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 here. Come on. Fetch it here. Good girl. Nice work. Good girl. Good girl. It, says, it doesn't even matter. You know that bird's there. You know, you know the, the dog's pointing on it. And my heart still still races. Sorry, buddy. Oh, Not well, you know one. what? We both got to have some fun out here. That there was, was the, a shell in my gun. That was the bird's fault. It went the wrong way. Uh, <laughs> that was great. He come up nice. I gotta let him have one or two. So, it, it, how old are these birds? Like, uh, I mean, you raise them months. in a pen? No, we we have somebody raises them for. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. And how long has, has uh, Roughwood been here? Uh, we just started last year. Nice. So it's yeah, a, we just a fairly new in. operation. Yeah. Had to change a farm into a game farm. Right. So you'll see a lot of sorghum and millet that the uh, Pheasants River guys helped us with for planting reasons. Right. Um, you know. Uh, seeds that'll sustain birds that are loose yep. and maintain them over the winter. So I, I was going to say, uh, important. Pheasants Forever obviously had a big part of... Uh, they they come time. out and, and uh, give me a lot of suggestions and, and help me out. Pheasants Forever are dedicated to the conservation of pheasants and upland wildlife through habitat improvements, public awareness, education, and land management policies and programs. 
Pheasants Forever is a, is a non-profit organization that raises money for habitat, mainly for pheasants, but for a lot of other uh, wildlife as well. Uh, most of the projects that we do, all wildlife uh, benefit from it. The organization has been together for close to five years now, and the efforts are starting to prove successful. There's more habitat being planted. This year was our best year. We've, we've done several areas. Habitat restoration and enhancement projects include planting trees, shrubs, and grasses to create shelter belts and grassy corridors for wildlife travel lanes and protective cover. So we were with, uh, with Mike. He had uh, Jess out here, and that was a, a Brittany Spaniel. Who, uh, who pointed pretty good. Excellent job, yeah. And you've got a, a Springer here. Mm -hmm. Well, this little girl is Krina. I brought her over from Ireland in uh, last September. She's 14 months. And nice. She's a little field trial English Springer Spaniel. And uh, right now, I'm in the process of training her and running her for some field trials. So uh, she's had a fair bit of exposure for pheasants and uh, some chuck or partridge. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how she makes out today. Uh, she moves along for these pheasants. These birds are. Yeah, let me, ask, let me ask you a question. I mean, the most, I think a lot of people assume a, a flushing dog sort of just runs barreling into this, the, the cover and, and sends the bird out, but that's not the case, is it? Well, what a flushing dog will do is it'll pick up the scent and it'll push the bird out. And these dogs that are trained for trials, they'll hop. And hop means they'll sit, right? And that's a safety factor as well. So these birds will sit. The gunner will shoot, the bird will fall, and then the hander will send the dog off to retrieve gotcha. and the dog will bring it back. We don't want a dog that's not trained that's jumping all over the place right. for it's a safety factor. Gotcha. So if a dog's doing its business right, that's what it'll do. Yeah, I have seen dogs actually yeah. try and jump up and grab the bird. Exactly, and, flush, and, and right? that, can be <laughs> that can be dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should have worn my high boots, brother. We're going into the Yeah, we're getting into some stuff now. This thing doesn't seem to matter, though. You want to give me a ride? Yeah, you want to hop on the back there? I can just tow you along. So. Oh, man, I'm going to stay on the high ground. <laughs> No, nope, maybe not. <laughs> oh, she's she's pushing hard in there. Oh, well, you might right. Wow! Oh, I got no. on the third oh, shot. Nice, nice. Oh, nice. nice job. There we nice go. Shot, Doug. Perfect. Good girl. Look at that bird, eh? Good girls. Out. Nice work. Nice. Nice bird, good buddy. Work. Nice shot, buddy. Oh, thank you. That's that good. Yeah, job. look at that, eh? That's beautiful a beautiful bird, car eh? bird. Gear up with Canadian Tire. Hey, before you head out in the field, you want to make sure you have the right boots for what you're going to be doing. If you're walking in search of pheasants, you're going to want a snug fitting boot that prevents blisters and is also waterproof and breathable. Now there's two common designs of hunting boots, laced up nylon and lined rubber. Both are great choices, but for the ultimate in dryness, comfort, and durability, check out the Rocky Buckstalker. Tight ankles keep them snug and give you enough room above the ankles to tuck your pants in. The self-cleaning sole will have you walking through the thickest mud and reduce fatigue. To see more awesome footwear, check out your local Canadian Tire store or visit canadiantire.ca. Coming up, more great hunting. More than a century ago, Browning introduced the auto-loading shotgun to the world. Today's Browning Silver continues that tradition with greater reliability, softer felt recoil, better handling, and more features than ever before. The Browning Silver, the auto-loading shotgun that does it all. Browning, the best there is. Think GPS is just for getting you to the lake? Think again. The new iPilot wireless GPS trolling system can hold your boat in place like an electronic anchor. Record and retrace productive fishing paths, automatically keep you on any bearing you choose, and take total command of speed and steering. iPilot controls your boat with wireless GPS precision so you can focus on fishing. And it's only from Minn Kota. Fish 
are gonna need a new place to hide. Exclusive side imaging from Humminbird. Scan more water faster with 480 feet of side-to-side -side coverage and see structure detail with amazing picture-like images. Humminbird, simply, clearly, better. A new age of modern scope technology has arrived. Burris Optics presents The Eliminator. The Eliminator incorporates laser range finding technology with automatic bullet drop compensation calibrated to your rifle and bullet combination. Burris Optics, leading the way in modern scope technology. Burris's new Eliminator rifle scope, changing rifle scopes forever. Just range them and eliminate them. If your passion is hunting and fishing, get ready to catch this incredible membership offer from fine sponsors of the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters. Join right now and receive all these great products, including a Shimano reel, the Shimano Sienna 2500, a Buck Knife, the Silver Creek Fishing Fillet Knife made by Buck Knives, a Coast LED flashlight, a Strike King Spinner Bait, a Fox 40 Whistle, Berkeley Gulp, Berkeley Power Bait, and Berkeley Trilene. Three packages of Fish Crisp Original and a special Fish Flage Edition Plano soft cider tackle bag with three Plano stowaway tackle containers. Plus, when you join, you get Ontario Out of Doors magazine, 10 action-packed issues a year, including the fishing and hunting annuals. This special OFAH membership package is a $260 value for only $72.95. Stand up for conservation and show how much you really care about your passion for fishing and hunting with a membership in the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters. Call and join today. Rita. Excalibur Crossbow presents The Hunting Edge. Bow hunting has to be one of the most exciting ways to get up close and personal with wild game. And Excalibur Crossbows wants you to have the edge on your next outing. I've seen and heard of a lot of hunters who use their scope to scan for game in the field. I don't think this is such a safe practice. And in fact, you should never use your scope to scan or identify persons, objects, or animals. The rules state that you should not point a firearm at anything you don't intend to shoot at. To get the edge, I suggest you get yourself a good pair of small compact binoculars like these by Steiner. By having these around your neck, you can slowly raise them and scan the field for game with very little movement. A great way to get the edge over turkey and deer. Winds Good come in our face, so the bird will probably come up this way. Oh, he's oh, putting her in go. reverse. Yeah. Reverse? <laughs> <laughs> you got three in there. Uh, I'm good to go. So, you gonna check him for that plug? There you yeah. go. Yeah. She's got to know there's something in that pile. Oh, yeah, she's smart. They know. They know this. That bird could have come out. Yep. She knows. I'll stay with her. Oh, 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 that's a long shot. Better luck next time. We saw time where it went right? down. <laughs> that was a long shot. That's, yeah, that was. That's not happening. <laughs> that bird just landed on the edge of that uh, fence roll there, so well, we might get another pop I think back. so. I think get so. another chance get at it another, still. Another, another so. crack at it. Yeah. I got faith in her. There you go. What an awesome day. I think I speak for both Doug and myself when I say that anyone thinking there's no challenge to pheasant hunting probably hasn't been on a hunt and worked with a real gun dog. This is a fantastic way to get out in the field to sharpen your shooting skills and knowing there's birds in the field will peak your alertness. Whether you own a pointing or flushing dog or want to train a new dog, and even if you don't have a dog, you can hire a guide to run one of the farm's Brittany's for you. They are fully trained and point with style and intensity. Just a little further here, and then we'll just stop. You're working hard, Mike. See, that bird's running. It's moving. It's yeah. covering ground on her. Now, it's tough for a young dog. Okay, let her just kind of focus down, concentrate on it. There it goes. Nicely done, Mike. Krina. Oh. 
What a job, Mike. That was a lot of work for that little girl. Did she ever work? You did that. Hop. Wow. Now that's, that was that's that was some dog work. Yeah, no, that's that's, that's the amazing. bird I took that long shot on, and it dropped over here in the edge. She had to work for five minutes probably on that. And you know, and you wing clipped it. The bird still lost her. She brought back a crippled bird. Nice. That's one of the benefits of having a well-trained dog. Uh, exactly. Cripples. Yeah. There you go. And that's why we, we, we train our dogs. Because if we didn't have a trained dog, that cripple would go back in the bush. We would lose it. Yeah. So fox food or fox coyote food. food. But there, that's the, the ethical hunting, and that's uh, the, the, the way to do it. Yeah. Excellent job. Thank buddy. you. Super shot. Redeem myself, buddy. You did, you did for sure. That was a beautiful <laughs> shot from over my way, though. The bird just going straight up like that. Just bang, nice down. That was awesome. Yeah, this is great. Well, guys, I'm glad you enjoyed it. It's a pleasure to have you out here at uh, Roughwood and part of Pheasants Forever. Awesome day, guys. Oh, yeah. This is amazing. Yeah, amazing. So. And it just goes to show you what organizations do. I mean, whether it's Pheasants Forever, whether it's it's Mike mm -hmm. with uh, with farm. Roughwood. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, uh, the OFH. We try and we try and uh, get involved with as many organizations as we can. Um, obviously with areas like Long Point, mm -hmm. where we just did a waterfowl hunt, uh, even uh, with Pheasants Forever, there's the National Wild Turkey Federation. I mean, there's so many out there that we get involved with, but the main aspect of today was, yeah, to come out pheasant hunting, yeah, to see some dog work, but it was to get um, Doug out here who uh, who can't, he couldn't, have, he couldn't have run after that bird. Yeah. He couldn't have tracked through all this stuff with us uh, unless he chance. had the, the assistance wow. of that. To, we're, that we're, we're, right we're proud to have him here and uh, you know, it's just awesome that give me the opportunity to, uh, to to ride this easy track and uh, enjoyment, and uh, that's what it's all about, yeah. getting people out. It's a win-win for everybody here, and that's mm -hmm. what it's all about. Fun day, fun hunt. Beautiful, yeah. Right so on. there you go. If you uh, if you think that, uh, you know, you're, you have mobility issues or you can't hunt anymore because maybe an injury or, 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 or uh, an illness, don't let it get you down because uh, if you look over here and you're, uh, my buddy Doug, he's uh, he's popped a couple of nice pheasants today and uh, yeah. uh, we've, he's getting to drive around in that cool machine. <laughs> I've had a great day out here. This is amazing. Angler and Hunter Television was brought to you by Canadian Tire, proud sponsor of Angler and Hunter Television. Mercury Marine, number one on the water. Winchester Ammunition, an American legend. Browning Firearms, the best there is. Shimano, technology you can feel. Yamaha ATVs, what kind of Yamaha are you? And Lund Boats, the ultimate fishing experience. Looking for more information on today's show or past episodes? Visit www.ahtv.com. Whether it's watching a fishing or hunting edge online, or looking for other great sites of the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters, be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Visit www.ahtv.com. See you next week, and remember to conserve and protect our great outdoors.